Hey guys, what's up? It's Kahoob here. Today we're going to be playing Bitcoin Farm. So it's made by the same company that made the last game. And you can kind of tell by how this game looks. But hopefully it's more fun and easy. Okay, so they added a little like thing where you can tell you're actually clicking on it and gaining value. And it makes noise. Can I click on here? No, that's just like a little code or whatever on the monitor. Um, so let's check the settings. Just music. Yeah, same guy. All right. So he actually went and made a second version of this. That's crazy. All right, I guess I'm playing the sequel. And I that's funny. It's, I remember last time I said I was planning on hopefully, well, not planning on, but hopefully going to play a better game. I didn't obviously didn't check. This was made by the same people. But it's called Bitcoin Farm instead of just um, Bitcoin. Which just makes more sense because it is like a mining uh, clickers, mining simulator clicker game. So then enter your BTC and then you get the USD. Okay, exchange rates, one Bitcoin for 4,000. I like the background sound of people trying to sell. Like, oh, you know, it'll be 50 bucks or whatever. Like, So 250 for a GTX 1060, 2,500. So, I mean, 250 shouldn't be too hard to get and sell cards. Select the cards you want to delete. Oh, like the graphic cards and all that. Oh, okay. 1,000 USD, okay. 250 should not be that hard to get. So that's the shop, the settings, and then the price. The only thing I'm having a problem with is knowing what's the exchange rate. Oh wait, the exchange rate is always changing or no? So that's 4,000, so maybe it'll be staying there. Which that's, I wish I could, honestly, I don't even want to cash any of this out to USD. $4,000 for one Bitcoin, that's really good value right now. Right, let's do my click thing. Let's see what this gives us. I'm very bad at math, so I'm just going to try to cash this out once it gets to 50. Alright, 0 0.045. 0 0.045. That's 180. Okay, not bad. I already have 180. The first graphics card's like 250. So we'll see if this game's uh, an easier reach to get the items because that would definitely be an improvement. I mean, it seems like I'm going to get it pretty soon. But from there, I don't know if the next ones are really hard. And it'd just be like a little like you get your first little miner and then you're like, oh, I can't quit now. I'm going to keep going. And then it makes it really hard. Because, I mean, the last game, I quit before I even got the first thing because it was taking way too long. Like, I, I personally, I think when it comes to clicker games when the very first item should not be that hard to get or in general because it gets too boring you know you need like a decent amount in between i mean clicker heroes is a really fun clicker game and it makes you feel like you're actually fighting these bosses and everything it's probably one of the most successful ones that actually make you feel like you're doing something all like cookie clickers just like after you play it so much you're just like all right what's the point of playing it anymore i'm just wasting my life on it but um but Clicker Heroes does a good job to avoid that. All right, so let's sell this. 0 0.045. 0 0.045. Exchange. One second, guys. I think. One second. Sorry, I thought my little beagle dog, you was trying to come in. All right. Um. Oh, I think he might be now. 360 USD. I think I can buy it. Oh, 250. Nice. So I bought it. Let's see how this goes. Looks like he was trying to come in. All right, sorry about that. Okay, well, look, it's mining me Bitcoin right now. Nice. It's actually going pretty fast, honestly. I see it. It's the fans and everything, it's bursting. That's so funny. So next I'm gonna try and get the 2,500. I think I can uh, keep buying these. Oh, it comes in doubles. Okay, cool. But I think I can keep buying them as I go. Like I can, there's not a limit to each one. Well, that's nice. The first one's in a pretty good range of reach. And then, what's the other one at? 2,500. I mean, if I get enough small miners, I could get there a lot faster, right? And then I could also sell some of my graphic cards. Because there seems to be a lot of room for all of them. I don't know how much space it forces me to do. Like, if the next one's going to appear over there or whatever. Like, I, I don't know what... 
or if they're gonna be like right right next to each other or whatever. so we'll see what happens so I liked the other game better with the exchange rate. I mean, this one's kind of more simple and kind of a little nicer with its interface and everything and being able to get the first miner quicker. But I did like the exchange rate changing up at the top and, you know, deciding when you want to sell depending on the exchange rate. Uh, it seems it's always going to be $4,000 for a Bitcoin on this one. Or maybe once I start getting tons of miners and stuff, then it goes up in value or something. Not too sure. Huh. I wanted to try and get to the next one. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.0, wait, 0. 0.414, 165, nice, so I have 275 already, which I could get another one, um, let's see what that looks like, nice, and now it's like going up even faster, I'm liking this game a lot better with this, with the upgrades, I want to try to get to uh, GT or GTX 1080 Ti's, 2500, all right. Let's see if I can get there. 2,500. I'm just use both my fingers and double click on this. <coughs> Would have been cool if I could have got this in a pack deal or something. The two games. But, I mean, both of them are, it's like $2 for them both, uh, buying them separately, so doesn't really matter too much. <clears throat> um, I think I might just end the video here. As much as I want to get to the next one, there's really no, nothing to talk about about this game. It's very simple to the point, and... This video is probably long enough anyways 2500 uh let's just try and sell this amount and see where we end so yeah I, the exchange rate stays the same which i don't really like i mean it can be nice but at the same time no 200 dollars. what it didn't exchange 242 um yeah, it would still probably take too long to get there uh, unless I keep on buying uh, GTX 1060s and stack those up and then move on to this one. So I'm going to end the video here, but I definitely do... If, if you were to buy either one of these games, I'd recommend this one more than the other one. Not that either of them are really that great. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys later in my next video.